Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to draw out the Lewis dot structure for H2O, commonly known as water. If you forgot how to draw these diagrams, make sure to check out the video in the top right corner. First, we need to find the total number of valence electrons in this molecule. H2O has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The oxygen atom has six valence electrons. Hydrogen atoms have one electron each, but since we have two of them, I'm going to write a two here. Adding these two up, we get eight valence electrons that we need to use in our molecule. Next, we'll draw the outline of the molecule. Now usually, we put the least electronegative element in the middle, and in this case, that would be one of the hydrogen atoms. But remember, hydrogen can never be the central atom, so we have no choice but to put the oxygen in the middle. We'll connect the two hydrogen atoms to the oxygen atom using single bonds. After doing this, we can start filling in electrons. We already have two single bonds, which accounts for four electrons. So if we take that out from our total, we have four more electrons that we need to use for the remainder of our molecule. Now, the hydrogen atoms can't take any more electrons because their shells have already been filled. Remember, they only need two because they have one orbital. So that means we're going to have to put the remaining four electrons on the oxygen atom. After doing this, we need to check our octets to make sure they've been filled. We just checked the hydrogen atoms and so we don't need to do anything with them. However, looking at the oxygen atom, we can see that it has its octet filled because it has two lone electron pairs and two single bonds, which accounts for the eight electrons that it needs in its octet. That means this is the Lewis dot structure for H2O. Now in real life, H2O doesn't actually look like this because the lone electron pairs here and here are actually repelled by the electrons shared with the hydrogen atoms here and here. Because of that, they push themselves away to get as far away as possible, and so that ends up making the molecule bend, and so it looks more like this. This gives the molecule a tetrahedral shape, and the bond angles end up being 104.5 degrees. So that's about it for today. In the next video, I'll use this Lewis dot structure to find out whether water is polar or nonpolar, so make sure you're subscribed to see when that comes out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.